Hello everyone and welcome to another great adventure over here on RJB Wildlife. On this adventure we are here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park where I'm going to be updating you guys on the construction of Elephant Valley. So if you're ready for another great adventure, let's go. So we're over here for the behind the scenes portion of the update and it looks like they're starting to put some of the metal beams up that'll be some of the hydraulic doors or even some of the uh, big doors that they use for uh, interactions with the elephants and even training and uh, just some of the care uh, that goes into it. But this is going to be the main uh, focus here right now because they got to get this habitat open. But I want to kind of segue over into the path portion of this update and that area as far as where it links up from Thorn Tree Terrace all the way over to the bridge that takes you to the experience. They have completely paved that path. They just have a couple more patches to go and they're starting to work on some of the detailings for the bridge. So they're really making some work on this and trying to get this thing ready to go as soon as possible. So we're over here for the building portion of the update and something really cool that's been going on here is the fact that they've actually put the exterior uh, concrete, stucco, and mud work detailing on the side of the building. They are still working on the roof portion of the building, so we're still waiting on that thatch, but with a lot of work left on the interior side of the building, I wanna now move over to the habitats portion of this update, and there has been an immense change to the habitats here. First and foremost, I do wanna point out that the current viewing area is still available for you to see the elephants. In fact, that's where I'm standing right now. And they have closed off access to the Western Yard, which is done outside of a couple little barrier things off to the back and their off habitat area, which we will get to a little bit later. But the habitat looks gorgeous. It is beautiful. It's got grass all over the place, uh, multiple planter boxes. In fact, they have also filled up the pool in that habitat. So it's looking nearly done. I do want to point out as well that there is a lot of work going on in the middle pathway between the two habitats. And that's just kind of how that's going to go for a little bit here. Once they get the animals into that yard and they finish up the off habitat, they'll then start to focus over here on this one. And that middle pathway should, the detailing should start to get finished there shortly. But a lot of the focus right now has been completing the habitats, uh, getting the exterior of the building done, and as well, the safari hub, which once that opens, opens the door for the crews to come over here and start tearing up this. I will also say, this beloved arch right here, it's one of my favorite structures here at this park, is safe. This is going to be a part of the exhibition uh, into the future and is really one of the fixtures here. So uh, this thing's not going anywhere. The other rock structure is not going anywhere, but they have made immense upgrades to the one over in the former Asian Elephant Yard, which uh, used to have a little bit of a cone spire on it. That's now gone and it replicates the rest of the rock work in the habitat. So I can confirm that the elephant viewing area will be closing down here within the next week or so. The dates that I were provided were November 4th or November 11th. Now considering that November 4th is on Monday, that would lead me to believe that the 11th is the more valid date simply because they still have a long way to go on that uh, backstage area and they still have to do the barrier portion for um, the Western Yard. So that's how that's going to go, but again, that is the current timeline for closing that down. So the other little t interesting tidbit with that information is the fact that they are going to be reopening the service road viewing area in the future. And that is going to be a type situation where you are going to meet up with a um, either a volunteer or a uh, educational staff member and they're going to lead you into uh, the viewing area uh, by where my assumption would be it's going to be by the bat area. update the Safari Experience Hub here for a little bit and that is mainly because this thing's almost done. This thing they're hoping to at least open up here in the next month or so right before the Christmas season begins so that they can start to get everyone up here for their experiences and then they can all depart from the same place. Um, again they're still uh, 
working on it. We're gonna see how far this goes. But the goal is uh, the end of November to the first week of December to have this thing open and ready to go. They're almost done and they've been making a really strong push to make it happen. So fingers crossed it gets to that point because then once that happens, they can then move over to the Eastern Habitat and start doing all of the work they need to do over there. That's going to do it for today. If you had fun on this journey, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to embark on future adventures, please consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell. And until next time, I hope to see you all again on the next adventure on RJB Wildlife.